What's up guys and welcome to part one of my home automation video series. If you did not watch my home automation demo, I will leave that link down below so that you can watch that video first and it will give you an insight of what we're trying to achieve here in this video series. Now we're going to be talking about what's called Z-Wave technology and rather than trying to bore you on what Z-Wave is, which in a nutshell it's sort of like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, but it uses radio frequencies, I'm going to leave a couple of links down below so that you can be more informed on Z-Wave technology because that is the technology that we are going to be using here. As a matter of fact, if you go to Amazon and type in Z-Wave, you'll notice that a bunch of devices or Z-Wave compatible devices will appear. And some of those Z-Wave compatible devices is what we're going to be using here. For example, in-wall dimmer switches is one of the devices that we'll be using in this mini-series. Plug-in modules to control appliances, smart switches that can monitor energy, and a lot more. If you saw that demo, you saw the uh, door lock and a couple of other cool things that I did. So anyhow guys, I am very excited for this series, so let's get started. So in order for all this to work, you need to buy and set up a controller. The controller that we are going to be using is called a Vera Light by Mi Casa Verde. And of course, you will need Z-Wave compatible devices, which we'll talk about in this video. But in a nutshell, the controller, or in this case, the Vera Light, is basically like the brain of the whole entire house. With the Vera Light, you can pair other devices together and it basically controls everything. So before you do anything else, the first thing you want to do is set up the Vera Light unit. This is what communicates with all of the other Z-Wave devices. It's very easy to set up and literally takes a few minutes. On the back of the Vera Light, you will see that there are three ports, a USB port, an Ethernet port, and a power input. Inside the box, you will get an Ethernet cable, which we will use to plug the Vera Light to the router. Of course, the power adapter to power the Vera Light and a fresh set of four AA batteries. Now insert the provided batteries into the Verilite unit. This is important when we start pairing with other devices, which I will talk about later. Once you have successfully installed the batteries, it's time to connect the Verilite to your router. Use the provided Ethernet cable to connect the Verilite to your router. Once that's done, connect the power adapter to the Verilite and wait for the device to power on. You will start to see a light blink and then followed by two or three more. What you want to do is wait until all three lights are solid and this can take up to a minute or two. Then we're going to move on over to the PC to complete the setup process. Open your preferred web browser and type in micasaverde.com forward slash setup. It will pretty much tell you what you need to do first. It's basically what we have done so far. And assuming all three lights are solid, then you can go ahead and continue. It will then scan for your device and you may need to upgrade to the latest firmware. If you do, go ahead and click to upgrade. This may take up to 15 minutes, so make sure you are patient. Once the update is complete, it will tell you the version that you are running. Go ahead and click on continue. You should see a hyperlink that says, connect to it directly on my network. Click on that to go into the back end of the device. This is where you will manage all of your devices and control your home automation. Feel free to look around, but first we need to head over to the account tab and create a username and password. Once you get your account set up and verified by email, you will need to add your Verilite unit. Make sure the date and time are correct. If everything looks good, click on yes to add unit and this can take several minutes. Once it's done, it will prompt you to enter your contact information. I highly encourage you set this up now before doing anything else. You will need to verify a few things to assure that your Verilite unit is registered to you. Phone settings is important, especially if you want to receive text notifications, which I will talk about later in the series. But let's say somebody opens a door and you want to get notified, this is why you want to set this up. You can ignore notification limits and test notifications for now, but you are pretty much done. Now let's add devices and start having fun. Pairing devices to your Verilite is ridiculously easy. Disconnect your Verilite from your router and power source. We will take the Verilite unit with us around the house to start adding devices. Let's add this lamp module first. Plug the module into a power outlet. Then grab your Verilite and hold down the power button on the Verilite for about 2 seconds. 
you will see a blue light begin to flash. You need to wait until the blue light is solid and the orange light is blinking. This takes about a minute. Next, you want to push the plus button for about one second. It's the one located right below the power button. This button is telling the Verilite that you're going to add a device. Now go to your module or whatever device you're adding. All devices should have a pair button and push it. Make sure the devices are about two to three feet apart and if you see the orange light on your Vera light begin to flash fast, that means it paired successfully. That's it. In case you missed it, let me show you again. Pretty scary how easy it is. This pretty much works with all Z-Wave compatible devices. So you can go around your house adding a bunch of stuff. However, they recommend that you add one at a time in order to keep track of what you're adding. Plug your Verilite unit back to your router and power source. Then hop back onto the computer and log into the back end of the website. In this case, it will be cp.mios.com. You can also go to micasaverde.com and on the top right there is a button called Control Your Vera, which pretty much does the same thing. The first thing I recommend you do is go into Setup under Rooms and Add a Room. This will keep all of your devices organized. When you start to have a bunch of devices as you see here, you want to keep everything organized, otherwise you can lose track of which device is where. This is why I recommend to add one or two devices at a time. Once you add a room, click on save on the top right. You will see on the top a notification that says unit is busy. If you click on the devices tab, you should now see the device you just added. It will automatically be named something, in this case dim underscore light. So let's rename it. You can do this by clicking on the wrench. Just click on the name and you can call it whatever you want. In my case, I'll call it office light. Now if you exit out, you will see that it's still not associated to any room. Make sure you click where it says room. A drop down will appear of all of your rooms. Select the room this device belongs to and you're done. Last thing you need to do is click on the top right corner where it says save to save your new settings. Now just repeat the process and add all of your devices. You should now be able to control everything through the web interface. I recommend you test it out. For example, turn a light on and off to see if it works. If all of your devices are working properly, Let's go ahead and download the Vera Light app to be able to control all of your devices using your mobile phone or tablet. Once installed, open the app. You will be prompted to enter the username and password you set up for your Vera Light. When the app loads, you should be able to see a bunch of tabs. Depending on what devices you paired, you should be able to see and control them through the app. In my case, I am controlling my office light. I can turn the lights on, I can turn them off. I can also use a slider to dim the lights. And to those that are wondering, you do not need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network to be able to control your devices. You can be in Hawaii, sipping on Mai Tais, and having full control of your home. So what did you guys think? Pretty easy to set up, right? I mean, Think about how easy it is to connect the devices. Let me just show you another one because I'm really excited. I'm going to do this in-wall dimmer switch. Watch closely. There we go. Just push on the dimmer switch and it's activated, paired, done. How cool is that, right? All you have to do is just go through all of your house, pair up the devices, and you're done. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed part one. There is a lot to come, but I will say this. The hardest part is done setting the initial Vera light, but everything else is easy. Now I know what you're thinking, where can I buy this? I want it now. I highly recommend you guys head on down to that link, droidkc.com. I'll leave a couple of other links down below. These guys are Android people. They will help you out. They're also going to be doing a couple of promotions. Now I'm not going to say what type of promotions because depending on when you watch this video, that promotion might be over, but I'll leave more information down below and I'll update it depending on what type it is. So highly recommend you go to Droid KC because they are the ones that know exactly how to set everything up depending if the, depending where you buy it, that may not be the case. But anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm looking forward to the next series where we'll be talking about Tasker, uh, more of the voice control and there's a lot more that, that we're going to be talking about. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.